Listening to the trend on CJLO 1690 AM. You know, this is the trend, and we got a hot, hot guest in studio with us tonight. We got Alyssa, aka with her stage name, Royalty. And uh, it's Crystal Christine in studio. We're just going to get into some Travis Green intentional, and we'll be right back. Don't tell me what you into. I'm back like a rental. Some days are gone when you're not around. Can't be found Setting the tone for this great night we are about to have. That was, once again, Travis Green with Intentional. What a lovely song. We were all here just, you know, humming to it. Having a good time. So Camille and I are joined by a very special guest. Maybe some of you are tuning into our show because of this special guest. So thank Mm -hmm. you for tuning in, whether it's your first time, second time. Thanks for tuning in, as always. And our third guest goes by Alyssa, known as Royalty, born and raised right here in Montreal in everyone's backyard. She is no stranger to the mic, and she has explored all different types of genres of music, but R&B is what she is passionate about. So we're going to welcome her in right about now. Welcome, Royalty. (laughs) She's going to be chiming into our little trending segment since it is Women's Day and she is a woman. So uh, (laughs) hello and welcome to the conversation. And then we're going to slide on over into more of her music, who she is and what she does. So happy Women's Day to all the listeners out there and to you two ladies here in studio. Thank you. Did you see the filter on Snapchat? I did see the filter Mm, on Snapchat. I used it today. Good. Very fierce. I am upset that we're not a part of the story for Women's Day. (laughs) Yeah. You know, can we get on that level yet? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But there was something we can or something. Is that what it said? No, it was saying like who, like who do you, oh my goodness. Exactly. So, um, yeah, throughout the show, we're just going to give different little um, inventors who are Cana- who are Canadian and who are women as well. And uh, we'll talk about that throughout the show. Mm-hmm. I have one to kick it off. Not Canadian, but the car heater was invented by a woman named Margaret Wilcox in, ni- in 1893. So you know you love heat in the car. So yes. thank you, especially you. for Margaret. Especially if you have leather seats. Yes. <laughs> oh, but her heater started with only for the feet. It was okay. like the old-fashioned cars, so, you know, warm up the feet. And then I guess it just moved on throughout the car, get the whole circulation going. And the modern, modern-day one is the one you're talking about, the seat warmers. We love those, too. <laughs> We're going to get into some uh, music, Camille. What do you got for us? So since it's Women's Day, why mm. don't we play Run the World, Girls by Beyonce? Ooh. I love I mean, this, song. This, I like this song, too. And I find I love when she... I can't remember where she performed, but all MTV? the women were there. There was, like, a whole bunch of backup dancers. And it was, like, this community. Like, it really had that community of women. And they're all doing the same movement. They're all standing together. Mm. And I definitely um, like that performance. So we're going to get into it right about now. Yes. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to The Trend on CJLO 1690 AM. 
In studio, we have Crystal Christine and Camille along with our guest tonight, royalty in studio with Ooh, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, again, wishing all the women out there happy International Women's Day. We're going to slide right into our second part of the show. Are we rolling with music? Or are we rolling with royalty? What do we got? We're rolling with royalty? All right. <laughs> so, royalty, you've been here. I gave you a little intro, but is there anything that I missed up? Say hello to the people. Hi, guys. Thank you for tuning in, yes. all my supporters. Yes. And, yeah, hopefully this will be a really good interview. No, this is going to be fun. It's been good so far. You had your little, your little things to say. You chimed <laughs> in. Having a good time so far. So, the reason why you are here... Well, we've known each other for a long time. Camila and I, we've known you for a long time. Yep. Yeah. And <laughs> your whole life. <laughs> yeah. Your whole life nodding our head a long time. <laughs> Do we say that? Like, your whole life? Or yeah. Whole life thing. <laughs> so, um, on Saturday, you had your listening party, and we were glad enough to attend. Had a good time. I'm thankful that you guys could reach. Well, yes. Thanks for the extension. <laughs> <laughs> So it was it was a good time. Yeah. Royal Flush was the reason for this gathering. It is yes. coming out tomorrow. No, tomorrow that is so true. I was gonna say Wednesday, but Wednesday is tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. <laughs> wow, are you ready for this? I am. I've been working on it for a very long time, so it's like it's like a relief yes. that we could finally just put it out now, you know? When you say a long time, how long? I would even say the beginning of last year. The beginning of 2015, yeah. your face was like, yeah, because I'm, I'm like, we're in 2016. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It takes so a lot. So a year-long project. Yep. Yep. For how many songs tracks. on this album? There are 11 tracks. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty big project. Yes. And I'm sure you did not go throughout this project alone. So more or less, how much did you do on your own and how much did you do with people behind you well or working alongside you I'll, I'll tell you this i invest a lot into my music like okay i record most well everything pretty much is recorded at my house ah, nice. like i invested in myself i'm i'm not like the richest person out there mm -hmm. so and i realized that nothing in life is for free that's it so i have to just like gotta spend it somewhere yeah i gotta do it by, by myself i invested in all the equipment and i'm just like yeah. you know what It'll save me money too, cause studio. I was gonna say, so you no studio time for this album. Besides no, your, maybe just like yeah. one session at another studio. Oh, yeah. So how was it working in your own home <clears throat> with all this project for the mm -hmm. whole year? I love it. I actually like to work by myself. Okay. So I'll be in my room and I I work at night. Ah, uh, your night yes. owl. Yes. Thank you for saying <laughs> that because last night. We the last message we sent was at like one or something like that, right. and then I woke up this morning <laughs> and I saw your post. You're like just finished, I think the hottest track, and it's not even on the album. And you yeah. posted that three hours ago, and I was up at seven. I'm like, wait, hold on, <laughs> what time did this thing happen? <laughs> no, I was working on a song for actually another producer. Uh, like a producer last hit night. me up, yeah, last night. And you finished it and yep. last night or this morning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's well, true. Technically this morning. this morning, technically this morning. Like I went to bed at let's say five. Wow. Dedication right there, eh? Yes. Yeah, when I work on a song, I could stay up really late. Because at night, like I'm by myself, you're in it's your silent, zone. right? Everybody in the house is sleeping. I have time to like think, you know, yes. be in my zone, have my headphones on and like okay. I'm drowned. You know, the music is drowning. So you mainly work through head well, I guess during the night hours. Yeah. You work headphones and then during the day are you still using headphones or are you sometimes the sound out? it depends i have to listen to both 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 ways like some sometimes in the headphones sometimes in the monitors mm -hmm. so you can get those left and right yep. <laughs> it has to sound right in because i know like when people download the song it has to sound good in a car, car. has to sound good in the headphones on a computer Every i test it out answer. like in all different types of speakers oh did you yeah that is very good even all the different types of headphones like earbuds <laughs> yeah sometimes good. sometimes that is very important. Yeah. And um, jumping ahead, but like during, because I'm studying communication studies and right now we're talking a lot about mastering. So yeah. I want to know, did you master your album? Some of the songs. Okay. Some of the songs. So Some for those of you that, like me, mastering, okay. what is mastering? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Short version, short version. I, it's, it's like the step, the extra step that you have to take after mixing. Okay. Like it's like, radio quality music 
it's so that when it comes through a speaker, you're not going to have that, mm, mm, like, you're right. not going to hear that. Or, like, that low that low end, um, the frequencies. Yeah, you're going to okay, so get This is getting fullness. really detailed right now. Yeah. You're going to get the <laughs> Things that people don't really think about that it just are not has in to, sound. Okay. The, your voice and the music has to sound crisp. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can't okay. be in the red zone, like, right away, like, you know. Right. It has to be crisp. <laughs> crisp. From the start and <laughs> yeah. throughout. Yeah. So you've been doing music for a while. Yeah. And so just tell us about the music scene in Montreal. Like, do you find it hard to get your music heard and to work with other artists? What is it like? This I scene? think the music industry, well, the music scene in Montreal, mm-hmm. it's very tough. Uh, very tough. Like competitive <clears throat> or just? No, not, not, not even competitive. Like there's a lot of people, there's so much talent in Montreal. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. The famous line, yes. Right. It's just that like, I don't know if that, people just aren't checking for Montreal or what it is. But like I've heard people say, like Alyssa, royalty, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that like, you know, you're, you're super talented, but like you're going to have to leave Montreal. Mm, people say you got to leave. But, mm. And I'm just like, but Drake, Drake didn't really have to, you know, he's from Toronto, put, put Toronto on. That's but they're Toronto. Like, right, that's Toronto, that's yeah, true. Yeah. But they're like, even, even Drake, he had to leave at some point. For a little bit, yeah. And come back. So like they're saying I need to leave. Then if I like get that fame or whatever, I could kind of then come back and be like, yeah, I'm from Montreal. Montreal, you know, the city. Yeah. Wow. And what about working with other artists? Is it you say Montreal? Yes, is very talented. So I assume it wasn't hard for you to find artists within the city to work with. Well, if so. oh Are, man, that's a that's a tough one because oh. we were actually discussing yeah. this. Oh, yeah. were you? This, before? This, okay, this prior. is a tough one. Yeah, yeah, like, I have my people that I know for sure. Who are going to rob you. Who, yeah, exactly. Like, people mm-hmm. I know are talented that I've known, like, my whole life. But then there's some people in Montreal. Man, th- some artists are stush oh. in Montreal. Like, they f- I feel like people in Montreal, they don't, like, want to put in the work. They just kind of, like, get a, a little buzz. And like, a couple, a couple hundred views on YouTube. And okay. then it's, like, it gets to their head. And it's, like, management this. And, when, oh, you know what I mean? Okay. So and they're they're not willing to you know extend the explore ex- just explore mm-hmm. right and to me I think like if you're really about the music like it mm-hmm. should just only be about the music yeah you just want to keep working you yeah. want to keep going you want to work with other yeah. people you're not gonna be like talk like, to my manager yeah why does it have to be like because I'm trying to move up why can't you move up with me like why can't we work together, together. unity okay, okay, working so together so that's the problem with Montreal there's a little divide there's a divide a conscious yeah. divide that is happening like in other places it's n- it's not a problem for people to work together okay you know what I mean they put people on the map like exactly. look at look at look what Drake did He's, He's like helping. helping out people in <laughs> Toronto, you know. Mm-hmm. So, speaking of other places, have you gone to Toronto, tested out your music there, or I, I actually not yet? haven't yet. Okay, I, I, I'm still I'm still quite new to the R and B world. R&B, okay, you know what I mean. So I'm just starting in Montreal, and you know, trying to get a little. Would you, buzz would, here. if you have the opportunity, would you? Yeah. Extend. Okay, so yeah. you're definitely gonna explore definitely. that. Definitely. But see, that's the good thing about social media. Yeah. You know, when I post my stuff on there, like, I have people hitting me up from, like, you know, other places, like, states. Someone actually hit me up from, like, Grenada. Ooh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and they're like, oh, you're so dope. And the UK, too. So, like, there's, no there's, way. there's, you know, people are getting reached. Like, they're so the name is getting yeah. out there. You yeah. just need, like, a something to really just hit it off. Right. You know, like a big thing, kind yeah. of. I just got to focus on the music. Nice. Yeah, that is so good. It'll come. That is good that you said social media because that was one of my questions, like mm-hmm. how it has helped you throughout the creating process and the distribution of your work. Yeah. So how do you plan on using social media to... I plan it? to use social media <laughs> to the max. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have, okay, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Just give all your handles right now so that everyone... Uh, okay. Gets it. Okay, yes. you can follow me on Instagram at royalty and the name is not like spelt like a regular royalty. You gotta spell She's it out. special. <laughs> it's R-O-Y-Y-A-L-T. So you can find me actually anywhere under that handle mm-hmm. except for Twitter. Okay. So SoundCloud, that's where you, you'll actually be able to get like my album, projects, anything like that. SoundCloud, just search royalty all the juice instagram royalty facebook royalty but twitter is royalty music Ooh, royalty music yeah. all right if you didn't get a chance to write that down we will post it on our page and before we get into this first song since we are spitting out royalty 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 where did the name <laughs> come from yeah why the double y if there is a reason, a reason behind it okay well okay you guys know i'm a church girl right yeah so that the name actually came from i was in church 
mm-hmm. and a, a pastor from out of town was pastor speaking. The name. <laughs> a past, yes, <laughs> the pastor. yes. <laughs> it was a pastor from Toronto actually, and he was just basically. It was kind of like one of those self-esteem type of type of sermons. um sermons mm-hmm. right and i've had my issues mm-hmm. with some you know sometimes i feel down sometimes you know yeah we yeah we all get there yeah mm-hmm. so he was basically saying you know what we're god's people you know we're royalty mm. we're we're not like the other people we we're special so i was like you know what? i am special. special i am royalty <laughs> i am royalty I'm with that. right so then i took it that way and then i was just like you know a lot of people always spell it royalty yeah so i was like why not switch it up yes so yeah nice it was from the lord himself it was it was <laughs> given <laughs> yeah royalty so we are gonna get into this first song this love tell us where it, it would be on the new album yes yes it's gonna, it's be, gonna be on, on the, the album. new album um the writing process what was it like wow for this song Okay, well, let me start off by saying this song is produced by The Patriot. If you guys don't know him, his name is Cassidy, The Patriot, Montreal's very own. And he's actually getting, like, quite a buzz right now. Great. So he produced it, and he produced a couple other tracks on the Mm -hmm. album. But, um, yeah, I actually had a fight with uh, my boyfriend. Oh, Okay. One, one, one time. Okay, Chrissy, you're just like, wait, 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 wait. (laughs) (laughs) The way you looked at her. Okay. No, I had had a a fight Mm -hmm. with my boyfriend, and I felt like... I was like, yo, you don't pick up the phone to check on. You know what I mean? Like, if you're in a relationship, you want that person to check up on you. So it was one of those times when he didn't check up on me. After the fight. Right. Mm. So I was like, you know what? And, and like, I was like in the mood to write a song. So that fight influenced this whole song. All right. Yeah. So the song is called This Love. This Love. Yeah. Song to play, Alyssa. Yeah. So... Most of the songs on your album, are they from your experiences that you go through or are they just? No. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Some of them. Some of them, some are, of them. are your own experiences. Yes. Uh, actually, the, the whole album has, it's basically about the ups and downs that you experience um, in love. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's good parts of love. There's sad parts of love. There's romance, all yep. that stuff. So it's basically... Royal Flesh, uh, obviously, is from my name, too. But it's just also, like, the different aspects of love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, this love, the, this uh, particular song. Yes. You know, it's, like, good and bad. Because, like, I'm talking about what I want from my, from my man. Yes. But I'm also saying, like, even though we fight and stuff, like, there's nothing else like this type yeah. of love. Like, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah, one yeah. in a million. So, it's like a... It's an up and down song. Yeah. Definitely. So we are going to, is it not hooking up there? Line one was dead for the aux cord, but thank God for line two. And here we are with this love. One day we're lovers, the next day we ain't. Another day we fight and fight and fight. And the name is Ooh, that was This Love by Royalty. And that was a sneak peek for everyone because she did not even play that song at the listening party. Nope. So, hey, the exclusive track. track. <laughs> that was definitely exclusive. <laughs> so, we can officially say you heard it first on the trend. Yes. yes. CJLO 1690 AM. <laughs> That's what it is. So, when you're writing, or better yet, when you're in the brainstorming session, what comes first, the lyrics or the beat? The beat. 100%. So, so do you make your own beats or you get... I get it from producers. Okay. Like like I was saying, Cassidy, mm-hmm. the Patriot, he kind of, he approached me like a while ago. Yes. And ever since then, it's been magic, me and him. Good. You guys have, have a good connection. chemistry. We have a good chemistry. You work together. You He's guys just understand dope, though. each other. Yeah. He good. knows like the sound I'm looking for. You know, he helps me. So, That's good. Yeah. His, so his good beats are fire. It's always good to have that go-to, that go-to, right? So, yeah. Exactly. But like, I, I can't really, I don't know if I can't, but I... Usually it's the the beat is first and then I write. Like I have to because when you get a beat you, you kind of feel it. Right. And you kind of know like what comes first like in a beat. Like I map out exactly 
like where's the hook gonna be okay, okay. you know what i mean gotcha yeah so nowadays the the main question is what is more significant with any song out there whether it's rap gospel what is more significant the beat or the lyrics for your case what hmm. do you think that's a very good <laughs> question yeah it's tough it's i think tough, it depends eh? but nowadays kids kids people in general kids. Mm-hmm. They're listening to the beat. beat. They strive for that they beat. They don't even care what the person is saying. Because honestly, a lot of the songs I hear, there's no lyricism, anything like that. But it's the beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I definitely agree. Like, I myself, I'm definitely guilty in this. Like, some of the songs, is just the beat. And then when you sit back and listen to what's really being said, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. What's really going on here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> wait, what he said? <laughs> <laughs> right? No, because like, look, for me, I like that, like, turn up music mm. trap music mm. yeah a lot of these people those trap artists do not have nothing good to good say. to say it's just that beat like you're in your car you're cruising yes. and it's like yes and that's the that's thing that 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 kind of sucks in a way because you know you like it but it's like you don't like what they're saying so right. yeah. but you can listen to the instrumental only yeah and that's still not fun it's still not <laughs> you fun you know like it, it's like you still uh, want to hear a voice yeah mm. you want that one line yeah that's it Yep, that's definitely true for mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. So, where do you get your inspiration from to write these music? No, you said experience, but does it come from any other place if you don't have the experience? Ooh. Well, I kind of also think about like what other people would want to hear. Okay. You know what I mean? So you think of your audience, your yeah, fans, out there. right? Or just like what's wh- what? What do people actually want to hear? Like in relationships, like what could help them? Okay, yeah. if they're going through a breakup, would they want to listen to this song? Mm-hmm. Or you know, they might need a song for a different occasion. Yep. They might, they might, it might be Valentine's night. Oh. <laughs> so they need a little something, you know. Be, you know what I mean? So they need a song for each thing. You, you want to give like respect or props to your boyfriend for doing a good job? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to cater to you like, song? Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes you have themes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. Themes. That's nice, always nice, a good nice. place to start with themes. Yeah. So you said uh, you collaborate with um, the prophet. Right. The uh, patriot. The patriot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Patriot. I looked at you and I was like, did I get it right? Yeah. So you collaborate a lot with Cassidy. Yeah. Yes. So do you collaborate with, collaborate with anybody else? Um, who do I, uh, okay, well, on the album, there's High Classified. I wouldn't say collaborate with him, but he did that one. He did one track for me. Mm-hmm. Wow. He's pretty known from yeah, Montreal. Yeah, just give a little, little sum on me. Me and him, mm-hmm. honestly, me, I've never met him, but like... Mm-hmm. I, I've heard his beats in the past. This is before he was more... This is when Out he was there. still local. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, so I know he made that good stuff. So I was like, this is... He's dope. I'm like, the let guy. me hit him up on Facebook, you know? Nice. So there's that. And then there's one, pers- one person named Wallace. He's on my team. 4040. Shout out to 4040 yes. 40 Music. We're going to get to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he, he made a couple. He made like two beats for me too. Great, great. He's great. talented. He's very talented. talented. Yeah. So speaking of 4040, I've been seeing it a lot in in the little corner of your photos, <laughs> and I'm like, what is 4040? So this is the great time. Yeah. Well. Yes. Okay. Every artist, I find they need a team. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, can't, you got to have yeah. some, but some people behind you. You can't be doing it by yourself. Even mm-hmm. like Patriot was telling me, he's like, okay, who's gonna help you out with this? Like pushing this music. Like yeah. you can't really be doing this by yourself. Mm-hmm. You can't be sitting on your computer for four or five hours just like just pushing music although i would do it do it yes but you need a team but like so i spoke to wallace because me and him like we also like met over social media like mm-hmm. we have a mutual friend okay. actually, i actually knew his brother so he was like my brother said that you sing and like got so that like, connection yeah so we made like a song together and then like like just throughout the you know the time that we spent together yeah. we realized like we really want more out of this. Mm, you know what I mean? It's not just a little fun project. Yeah, we want more out of this. We're serious about music. Yes. You know, so we're like, let's make a team with some some artists who are like just as passionate about it as mm-hmm, we are. Mm-hmm. And let's let's push it. He already had 4040 Music, but it wasn't like something that was really okay. out there. So I was like, you know, what? let's stick with the name. 4040. 4040. And, and we added it. music. Nice. And yeah. And now it's just going to evolve from here on out. Right. And okay. the slogan is like double the vision. Yeah, and mm. and yeah, I've been noticing a few things. It's very yeah. interesting the way it, it flows out there. Yeah, but uh, we got another track. I believe we want to play. Do you yeah. want to 
select it and just tell us a little bit about it which one okay we'll go with dirty dancing okay dirty dancing so just give us a little do we need <laughs> i don't know if uh, okay well honestly is that safe there or? i mean i hope so <laughs> it should be yeah it should but be. but i mean like in the title it's just evident yeah or it doesn't need a little backstory well, well to be honest with you like i said i, I take beats first and then write okay. but i really wanted to do a trap song okay because i was like you know what I'm tired of these slow jams. I want it like a turn up track, you know? So this is the turn up. This is the turn up track. It has right. that bass, you know? Here we go. <laughs> Dirty dancing. This is a table for two. Pull this a rock. I don't need no menu. Yes, Dirty Dancing, that was a nice sweet preview that you guys got and you have a lot more to look forward to. 11 albums on, uh, 11, 11, 11 tracks. tracks on the album. This is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, everyone look out for that. Royalty, last words, this was so short but very sweet. Yes. We loved having you here. Thank you, I love being here. Yes, so we're wrapping up. Where can they find the album tomorrow? What time? Honestly, is it gonna leak? Like, uh, that, <laughs> no, we're not doing no life, life of Pablo or whatever. No, but um, I actually I might drop it at midnight. We'll see. All right, we'll that's, see. That's your peak hour. Yeah, so you never know. Might as well. <laughs> but no, you guys can find it on uh, SoundCloud, soundcloudcom slash royalty r o y y a l t. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, I'll have different links oh, up. Well, yes you'll be seeing that i'm yeah. sure on your facebook uh feed yes great this is good last thoughts camille any last so, questions for royalty overall i mean mm -hmm. what's next for for royalty what yes. is honestly what's the plan i'm gonna put out this project yes and we'll see how it's received mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna focus on the music and everything else i think will come it will okay. come so yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the questions that I've been uh, wanting to ask: any music videos? Oh this? yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do a music video this summer. I still haven't chosen the song, but for the summer, yeah. we'll do we'll do something this coming. So just summer. one video. Do you have an idea of what song? I actually don't know yet. I really don't know yet. But we, I'm talking to like the person who's gonna direct it, and so, so it's in the talk. Yeah, it's in the talk. So any idea? Yeah. I mean, location. Uh, do you have it any? actually might be the song called "About Us." Might be that one. About Might be us. that one. Yeah, I yeah. remember hearing that one. It was a sweet one. Yeah. So wow. Okay, don't give us any more um, spoilers. No, just get that. Get the project, man. Get the Download project. it's free. It's, it's free. free too. On top of that. Yes. Wow, this is great, great, great news. So thank you for sharing all of this with us. Your project, um, how you work, your yep. workflow. Thank you for sharing that as well, and just being honest yes or honest <laughs> yes that's a, that's a hit song right there yes that is one of her hits so mm. we will post up her soundcloud all of her stuff and um thank you for tuning in whether it was your first time um welcome to the trend tune in next week and hopefully if it was your first time you enjoyed the show yes. and you'll tune in again and see what we have in store for next week yes you can always hit us up on our Facebook page The Trend on CJLO 1690 AM send us your feedback send us your comments if you have stories for us to cover or anything in general hit us up we respond we're friendly people right royalty yes turn up turn up turn up <laughs> so thank you once again everyone stay tuned Colors that cannot be seen is up next with My Kyle. Mate, Kyle is in the building, hands <laughs> up in the air. But <laughs> as we, you know, do that transition, we are just gonna play a little snippet of. Should we give them some honest, just to like roll on out of here? Sure, we're gonna not? give them some honest. So at the end, thank you, Lisa, for joining us, and yes. we'll probably have you again. Good Definitely. luck with everything. Yes, Come on you. by, give us like a little. I'll be here next week. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Make room. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all. You want me to be down for nigga? Want me to ride or die for nigga? But you don't spend no time with me, nigga. You think we gon' be fine? How you figure? Be
I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching us. This is the first time we've been filmed, so it was very exciting. We can't wait to see the final project. Into the trend. Okay. That album. <laughs>